Hello, I'm John Kruger. Welcome to Emulex Chalk Talk. Today I'll be discussing how to leverage new Intel Xeon 5500 processor with its Nehalem architecture using Emulex LightPulse 8 gig fiber channel HBAs. I'll include how the two technologies will allow you to achieve maximum performance and scalable virtualization. Okay, so over here we've got a, a, a block diagram of a server that utilizes this, these new processors. So what we've got is uh, two Intel Xeon 5500 processors. Uh, they're connected to uh, Intel 5520 I.O. hub. And also down here we've got the kind of a standard south bridge with the legacy connection ICH here. So the uh, Intel uh, processors here, they've got um, a new idea. They've got uh, a built-in memory controller here. Each processor has its own local memory instead of a shared pool. So this is more of the NUMA architecture, the non-uniform uh, memory access type of architecture. Each processor then is connected with a QPI bus, uh, which is Quick Path Interconnect. Uh, also, the QPI connects down to this I.O. hub, so everything is connected together. Uh, on the I.O. hub, there is the uh, PCIe uh, 2.0 connections. It's moved up here into the I.O. hub instead of on the south bridge like it used to be. So it's closer to the processors and the memory. This is where the Emulex HBAs would go. So here, we've got uh, an Emulex 8 gig, 8 gig HBA. And it's connected out here into the SAN. And that's 8 gig per second. To get an idea of what kind of uh, bandwidth this has to go through this uh, system here, let's do a little bit of math here. So you start off with uh, 8 gigabytes per second, gigabit per second. Then you have 8 bits for every 10 bits. That's fiber channel. Then you have one bit, one byte is made of eight bits. Then you have times two because it's full duplex, transmit and receive. And you cancel these things out, those cancel out bit per second. And it ends up about uh, 1.6 gigabytes per second goes through this PCI 2.0. So it's, it's pretty high bandwidth. Uh, next we'll talk about some performance. So, while the Emulex HBA is busy offloading the fiber channel activity uh, out here in the SAN, uh, it's also busy doing DMAs back and forth to the memory to complete IOs. When IOs complete, the, the HBA has to generate an interrupt to tell the device driver that it's done with the IO. What we've done to increase the efficiency of that is in our 8 gig HBA, we've implemented something called Message Signaled Interrupt Extended, or MSIX. And what that allows us to do is it's a, different, it's a different way to send an interrupt. And what Emulex is, has done to improve MSIX is we've, uh, we've actually implemented a thing that we call dynamic interrupt redirection that actually allows us to uh, do something special for this NUMA architecture. Say that an I.O. is completed in this memory. It doesn't make sense to interrupt this processor or both processors to try to figure out where where the I.O. is, we can actually direct the interrupt to the memory uh, that the I.O. Uh, resides in. It's much more efficient. Much more efficient. To, to, actually, uh, to actually measure this, we ran some performance tests uh, to show what the real world uh, implication of the, um, the dynamic interrupting with the NUM architecture. So what we did was we ran, uh, uh, we compared a system like this to a uh, 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 different generation of Intel server, which is the 50, 5355 series server. So what we did was we ran a, a test using 512 byte reads. And we were looking for IOS per second. And what we ended up seeing was on the 5355 server, we saw uh, about 400,000 IOS per second. But on the 5500 series, we, see, we saw that increase to 1.2 million IOS per second. So that's about 3.4 times better. And, as, and in terms of efficiency with the MSI uh, design, uh, we actually got uh, about a 225% uh, increase in efficiency of the CPU. That's, that's in terms of CPU utilization. So let's see how, how this architecture, uh, you know, let's wrap this up and show how you can, uh, how it applies to a virtualization environment, for example. All 
All right, so for virtualization, one big project that, that is happening is server con consolidation, taking existing servers and uh, phasing them out and taking their functions and sticking them in, sticking them in a, a virtual uh, machine environment like this. So we have here a 5500 series server with some virtual machines. You're proceeding through uh, the uh, server consolidation project. So you're adding more virtual machines. Right. The name of the game here is scalability. As you add, as you load up the server with more virtual machines, you know how, how is that going to scale? Well, the the uh, 5500 series, with all of its improvements, it really uh, serves to increase the, the ability to scale like this. As far as the Emulex 8 gig, 8 gig HBA, as you load on more virtual machines, right, all the IOs from these virtual machines have to go through one Emulex adapter. So as far as resources go on the 8 gig adapter, um, we have a uh, capability of uh, 4,000 simultaneous IOs that, that are stored inside the HBA itself. So uh, it can be working on 4,000 things simultaneously. We also support 4,000 uh, simultaneous logins. So the SAN can be quite large as well. If your project is going to use uh, uh, endport ID virtualization, MPIV, um, that's the case where each one of these virtual machines, instead of sharing one adapter uh, and knowing that they're sharing an adapter, it's done and it, it, the, the adapter is virtualized. So each one of these virtual machines thinks it's talking to its own Emulex adapter and it doesn't think it's sharing. And also on the SAN, this single Emulex HBA port appears as, in this case, four different HBAs on the, on the SAN. Um, in the case of scalability for this, uh, Emulex supports uh, up to uh, 255 virtual ports. That means that we can, there can be 255 of these virtual machines talking to one Emulex HBA, 255 Emulex personalities coming off of this one. HBA. So there you have it. So today we discussed how to leverage the uh, Intel Xeon 5500 uh, server with the Emulex uh, Light Pulse 8 gigabit uh, fiber channel adapter. We looked how to achieve uh, maximum performance, um, talked about uh, scaling, uh, virtualization here. And so with that, I thank you. This is John Kruger, and we look forward to seeing you again.